Good night, boys and girls. It's Colin back again for assembly. Today we're going to visit what I call the honesty shop. I've been in lots of shops, been in many countries. I've never been in a country with a shop when there's nobody staffing it. You just walk in, lift whatever you want, and you have to be honest to pay your bill. And so we're going to find out what exactly you can buy in this honesty shop and how can you do that. Let's sing all around the world. <laughs> So let's go and find, let's visit the honesty shop, see what we can buy, how we can pay, and how does it all work. Here we go. G'day boys and girls, behind me is Muckle Hill. You've probably never heard of it before. I'm at Castle Dirk today, and right over this way is the high school, Castle Dirk High School. But what's really caught my attention is the farm shop. I love farm shop because you get all natural things which are good for you to eat. But what's more than just a farm shop? There's nobody in selling anything, but the door's open. It's an honesty shop, and we're gonna walk in. You can buy lots of different things, but there's nobody there to, to sell them to you. You just have to add them up yourself and, and pay either by card or pay by money. So I'm going to buy some eggs today and we'll see how an honesty shop actually works. Are you coming in? So 
So we're inside the farm shop. I love farm shops. This is a little wooden, a wooden shed. It's only been gone about six months. Before that there, this is one of the sheds that was used to, to bring lots of clothes and items for Ukraine and very quickly it filled up. Then the farmer thought, I'm gonna use this shed as an honesty shop. And here he has drinks and potato crisp and eggs. He's got a fridge and normally this is full of meat. And you've got yogurts, dairy products, you've got milk. And over here you've got scone mix if you want to make pancakes or cakes. And you've got all different things like potatoes, oils, jams. And this is my favorite one actually. You've got all the buns and cakes. And the farmers tell me when it comes in every week, it's piled up really high. So parents can come and stop outside, leave their children in the car, pop in, buy a few things and then or potatoes and then this is full of vegetables normally so you can really do your shopping for your dinner you can get your meat your sausages your bacon or your whatever chicken or meat you want and then i find this really really interesting it's got a card machine an honesty box you put in please pay v via the honesty box provided so then whatever you buy you put your money in or if you need change and I thought, there's so many lessons here. The first one comes to mind is temptation. I would have thought, if I came here on my own and I thought, I could take this food, no one's here watching me. I could take the food, not pay for it. I could also be tempted, there's chains, to steal the chains. But then as a Christian, I think, no, there's two reasons. Because one, there's a camera over here watching. But more than that, God sees everything. And one of God's commandments is, is thou shalt not steal. And before someone steals something, they're tempted to take it. They're tempted. And we're not to yield to temptation. Temptation is a natural thing. We're tempted to look at things with our eyes. We're tempted to listen to things with our ears. And whenever the temptation comes, we're not to yield to it or to give into the temptation. So the, it's always good to be honest and not to tell lies and always tell the truth. And the opposite to honest is, is being dishonest. And if I was to steal something, then I would be tempted to steal again and again and again until I'm caught. Then if someone's caught stealing as an adult, what happens then? Your police will come and arrest you. You might have to go to court and you can end up paying a big fine for stealing as well as going to prison for what you've done wrong. And that's the way the courts of the law, that's the way the law works. It's so important. If you ever tempted to do anything, walk away from the temptation and never give in to the temptation. For example, eggs. Here's an egg thing, and nowadays lots of people pay with cards, you can also pay with card, but eggs are, you buy 12, one dozen, and you, I'm gonna put in two pounds, and one of these should open. Wow, <laughs> at the bottom, look. Look at these eggs, wow. <laughs> and you close the door, just popped open. These are lovely fresh laid eggs. 12 of them, I bought two pounds, and Joanna's gonna love these eggs, and I thought, I'm amazed. I've never really come across a shop like this here, an honesty shop, and I thought so many lessons, even, even, even for me to come in and think, that man, the farmer, he's busy farming the fields and working hard, and this in this town of Castle Dark, he has to trust people to come and pay the money for his goods, because lots of these he has to buy before he sells them, and he just trusts the local people to come in, buy their food, their yogurts, their milk, maybe their burgers, whatever they want to buy, and they will buy them and pay the money or pay the card, and he trusts the people to do that, but then he has to leave it. And I was asking him, do you ever, does anybody ever steal anything? There's a high school next door, lots of the children, uh, pupils from the high school that come, they might buy crisps, they might buy drinks, some of his best customers. He says, no, they all pay the money. If I need to look at the camera, everything I've got is paid for. And he thought it's really, really good that he can trust the young people and now so they can come here and they don't steal anything. And I thought that's a lovely thing to be able to have is an honesty shop and it's called the farm shop. And in Northern Ireland, we have lots of crops that we grow ourselves like potatoes and carrots and parsnips, so many vegetables, so many fruits and even all the different meats and yogurts it's a lovely thing in this country we can grow so many different things and have so many different things these eggs the farmer's hens actually lay these eggs he has the hens he looks after the hens they lay the eggs that come and then he can put them in this wonderful machine and you put in your money and out pops the eggs and we that's over there, the money's already paid, but if I was to buy anything else, I'd put the money, and even that box of coins, how easy 
it is to be tempted to take that money to go to another shop and buy sweets but remember it's never right to do wrong and that's the lesson today even though we might be tempted remember the Lord Jesus Christ was tempted by the devil and three times he said it is written he used the bible as the word of god to say get behind me satan it is written as it is written that's why the bible is such a wonderful book because the more we read the bible it helps us to think about god it keeps us close to god and when you're tempted to do wrong tempted to sin tempted to steal then we know we should never give into temptation because the danger is to steal something get away with it you'll want to steal again and again and again and before you know it you become a thief and a thief is not a nice person and the bible says be sure your sin will find you out on one day one day you will be caught and you'll have to pay the punishment for doing that but imagine if this was your shop and somebody came in and they were tempted and they gave into temptation and they started to steal or, st or were destroying your property you would not like it and i thought it's a lovely thing in this country that somebody can have a shop with nobody in it the doors open day and night and people can come any time of the day or night early morning late night and buy their food and take it home and feed their families and he trusts them to pay their money whenever they can do that i think that's a really good thing in this country today that people can trust people to be able to do that and we pray that god will really bless him for enabling trusting people to be able to do that and the word trust the bible says trust in the lord and do good whenever we trust god uh, we will want to do good when you stop trusting god we stop looking to god then nothing will what do we live for i live for god to please god with my life and everything i want to do it's all about trust in god even whether it's your schoolwork, your homework whatever it is at home helping your mom or dad whoever you live with always remember everything you do always aim to please god number one lesson when you're tempted to stay walk away from it and never ever give in to the temptation of stealing thanks for watching today and i might just look around and maybe buy something else here what else can i get <laughs> see you next time wow did you enjoy that really really interesting story today about honesty about temptation and about paying your money etc i really really enjoyed it and whenever you go to an honesty shop if you're honest nobody's gonna go behind you and say stop and let me check that no 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 here we go we're gonna sing the word stop and let me tell you stop and let me tell you song stop and let me tell you what the lord has done for me that's all for today hope you really enjoyed a tremendous lesson not just for now but for life always be honest everywhere you go thanks for watching and we'll see you next time